Hey guys, hi, Tamara here. Welcome to my sewing room. I thought instead of sewing today, we might approach the subject of doll measurements. This is a big question. Um, there's a lot of new people in the modern doll market and they're wondering which 16 inch doll patterns are appropriate for which dolls. So for the designs by Jude and the Fletcher Pattern Company patterns, um, all of our patterns indicate the name of the doll that they're specifically designed for. Some can share specific items if the gown or the top or the outfit isn't completely fitted, but others can't. So you really just want to become familiar with the dolls that you're working with, what their individual size sizes are, and then pick a pattern that's closest to the doll that you're trying to reproduce something for. Um, I went ahead and spent some time today putting together a new handy dandy chart of PDF of about 25 different dolls and their dimensions for bust, waist, hip, and shoes, just in case that's of interest to you. If you check the description below, you can find that link to that PDF list of those dolls. When I got started in the business in about early 2000s, I made my first doll pattern for a 12 inch Marley doll. At the time that she was brought out onto the market, she didn't have any additional accessory or clothing packs, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and draft her a pattern on a piece of paper. I did not realize that just quick two decades later, I would still be creating patterns for fashion dolls, but now I use a software program and it's a lot easier. When you check the internet or you go to Google and just search doll measurements, it's not as easy to find doll measurements as it used to be because the variety and the small nuances and different body styles has really developed over the years. So I hope that checking out this PDF and just looking closely at the variation in sizes will help you pick the right pattern. For example, I pulled up doll measurement charts on Google and this is the amount of doll charts that you get. Now there's probably more dolls than there are people in your hometown, but if you really search into that, you can find a nice selection of information about DJD dolls, about specific lines of dolls, Madame Alexander, and also Robert Tonner. Um, Robert Tonner also has a really cool site now, which is called robertonnerdesign.com, and you can go there and become familiar with some of his great creations of the past, as well as the, th as well as the things that he's working on today. Um, his most recent endeavor was with the virtual doll convention, and he put out an RTB 101 doll um, whose name is Grace Marie Fitzpatrick. And then even more recently, he brought back the beautiful and much loved Elowen doll. So if you're interested in keeping up with Robert, I would definitely suggest checking out his page. I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick view of the house models from Designs by Jude. We're starting at the very smallest doll, which we have featured here from the Tonner line, which is the 10 inch Tiny Kitty. Next to her, we have Patsy, a 12 inch Marley. Then next to her is Agatha Primrose, who shares the same body as the 13 inch Revlon doll. We have a Lucy Pevensey doll from the Narnia collection, Patience, and then a flexi pose. And right here we're entering into Little Mismatch, who actually shares the same body as the Maudlin doll. And then next to them is the Teen doll, the Teen Body doll. We have a couple of City Girls right here, and that is ending that line at about um, 15 and 3 quarters inches. So on this line of 16 inch dolls, this is the girl that started it all, the Tyler Wentworth doll. She's next to Sydney Chase, who happens to be on the same Tyler body. And then we have a Prudence from Wild Imagination next to Elowen. They also share the same body. We have a Chic Body Miette doll, as, as well as a Rockabelly. They also have the same body. We have an Antoinette next to a Cami, Cami being the redhead and Antoinette being the blonde. Then we have a Curvaceous or Pinup body standing next to a Deja Vu. We have the RTB 101, which is the newest body. Also the Grace Marie Fitzpatrick doll from the Virtual Doll Convention. She's next to the gorgeous Deanna Denton on the super athletic um, body, which is 17 inches. She's standing next to a sister doll. In addition, we have the original Evangeline Gasly on the vinyl body, and that's a 17 inch doll. Next to an 18 inch Kitty Collier, one of the classics from Robert Tonner and one of the uh, girls next to her is also a sister companion doll. Next, we have uh, the larger plastic Evangeline Gasly doll, and that's an additional one next to her as well. 
Now the only one missing from this line is the American model, which is a 22 inch doll. Now, as far as some of the things that I have in my collection, I wanted to just review the variation between some of the size dolls. I have this selection of girls. So you'll notice that Patsy is a 10 inch doll and right next to her is Tiny Kitty, extremely small, very different body. One is a fashion doll, one is a child doll. Then Marley uh, uh, is a 12 inch doll standing next to the Revlon, who one is a child doll, one is a fashion doll, and there is um, Lucy Pevensey, who was a really sweet doll, part of the Narnia line. And um, I have all of those dolls, and I think they're all great quality and really fun. I wanted to briefly point out that Marley Wentworth and the Patience doll, which look really different, actually can share clothes because they have a very similar body. The next two dolls in the smaller doll line, which are kind of similar, are Agatha Primrose and the 13-inch Revlon. Agatha is more like a teen doll, and I would say the Revlon's a fashion doll. They look very similar, but again, the head size is the specific difference, which gives them a completely different look. So the next grouping of dolls we have are Patience, Flexi Pose, Maudlin, the Teen Doll, and the City Girl Dolls. So they're very different in uh, the genre that they represent. Um, of this collection, my favorite is Maudlin. I wish he would have done more of Maudlin. So Maudlin is also on the same body as her friends, uh, little mismatch. So to the right and left of her are those dolls. Again, if you were sewing for Maudlin and you wanted to use the pattern um, that came for a little mismatch doll, the thing to remember is that her head size is going to be different. So our next grouping of dolls starts the 16 inch fashion doll line. On the far left we have Tyler Wentworth who was one of the original beauties of Tonner's line, the Tyler Wentworth line. Next to that doll we have the Miette who's on the chic body. Then in the middle we have Elowen Wild who was from Wild Imagination. She's a, one of the original Elowens. Next to her we have the curvaceous body or also known as the pinup. And to the far right, we have Deja Vu. She's much more slender and she has really big hands. So something to consider when sewing is that you wanna make sure that you take into account that you can get the sleeve over the doll's hand if you're not comfortable with removing the hands, which you can do on most of these dolls. In this next grouping, we have one of the newer dolls by Tonner, which is the RTB 101 doll seen on the left. In the middle, we have the Super Deluxe Deanna doll, who's 17 inches. Love that doll. Um, she's just got a beautiful figure, and she's one of my favorite dolls to sew for. On the right-hand side, we have the classic Robert Tonner uh, Kitty Collier doll, who stands 18 inches. She's not very articulated, but she's still so beautiful that I really enjoy making things for her, and I know a lot of people still have her. For the last grouping, we have a mix. We have the original 17-inch vinyl Evangeline Gasly doll, who's had her hair cut short so that she can wear her wigs. The one in the middle is the hard plastic uh, Evangeline Gasly, who is a little bit bigger all over and taller than the original vinyl doll, very similar to the resin doll that was put out. And then finally, we are finishing up with the American model. She's 22 inches tall and was originally put out without articulation, but later became bendy in both the wrists and also in the elbows. So this is just a quick uh, preview of some of the house models that I use when I'm sewing patterns for Designs by Jude. Please check in the description below for a link to a pattern chart that I did today to give you some reference points to see how these dolls might be similar. Okay, well that concludes our tour for today. I hope this information on the new doll measurement chart is helpful to you. I will continue to add additional dolls to the chart to include the rest of the collection for dolls that I have patterns for. I appreciate you stopping by and as always, please hit that subscribe button and share this video with additional friends that might find this information useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.